Hello everyone, it's the Sarcastic One here, and today we are going to be doing a tour of Garland. And our tour of Garland today will be this huge modern mansion. Um, this is based off the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 map Raid. So if you've ever played that, you will probably see some similarities. It's not the exact exact replica, but we tried to make it a little bit of the same. Um, in coordination with the rest of the map, it, my first house and the main street is over here, and then you just take this road over here, and the mansion's right over here. So without any further ado, let's get right into the house. So first of all, we have us a nice supercar, so if you want to show off and kind of make yourself look like you're a millionaire, this is the way to do it. You can't actually get in the vehicle, but it's a really sweet vehicle. Uh, it, the design looks really nice, and I never really looked it up. I just did it myself, and uh, it came out pretty nice. So if you guys want me to show you a tutorial on how to do that, just uh, hit me up on the comments, and I'll show you guys. So uh, over here, for me, one of the most memorable things of the Black Ops 2 map was this statue, which is on a high platform with water fountains in the game. I didn't put the platform with the water fountains, but I put the statue, more or less. Then over here we have a motorcycle parked right up front. Uh, we'll go in there in a second, but first we'll take a right and go through the driveway where we, we would usually bring the cars. So, uh, the garage is over there. We have us a nice little convertible, I guess, in right here. And uh, we have a minecart, so you can actually get in, but these block the way. But if they're not there, it looks a little less appealing. So, watch. If you get rid of them, see doesn't look as good so uh, that's why we added those so that's why we keep them on there but in the garage to get into the garage you go through this nice little mudroom area and we have metal doors so then it's like if somebody lives here it's like a lock so then people can't get in certain places so if you come through here you have a nice little workshop area with the cabinets and all that good stuff then over here you have like a little mini club in or like a jeep or something and then an early motorcycle before we knew how to make real good motorcycles or good motorcycles I guess because they're they aren't the best um, back over here, if you go back out and pass the convertible, on the Black Ops 2 map, there's a nice little path that leads... See, there's stairs in the Black Ops 2 map right here, but we just didn't add the stairs. Like I said, some sim similarities, but not all the same. Now, if you follow Bert the Spruce Blood path and come on up here, take a right, you have a second story. If you go through here, this is Evilist World of Seven's bedroom. But uh, he doesn't have a bed in here for some reason, and that's his safe. And I accidentally broke that. I just haven't told him. So we'll, I'll probably build that back later. And every time I say I'm going to do that, I never do. So, Oh, yeah. Something else I forgot to show you guys. These doors, they're messed up because uh, I recently just updated my Minecraft, and it messed up all the doors in Garland. So if you see any weird doors, just uh, bear with me. So in here, on the uh, actual Black Ops 2 map, you can't actually get in here. But after looking with sniper rifles from right here, we concluded that this is a hallway that leads to a little nature area that you could sit in overlooking the, the garage. And then over here, there's a bedroom right here, which is a ghost bed. He doesn't play all that time, all the time, but he plays every now and then. You might have seen him, I think, in the early video, like the first video. And up here is mine, and it's small because I really don't see the point in needing a big bedroom. I'm not going to be doing much in here anyway. So just a little office space, lantern, clock. And then another lantern, uh, bedrooms, cabinets, and a chest, probably with valuables in it. Yep, a lot of valuables. So then back out, uh, we go back out here, and we go back to the convertible. It's right here if you just take the spruce wood path this way instead. It leads you into this little area, and this area is where we saw that those doors over there that led from the uh, driveway. And so over here you can you know, just check out books even though it's not like an actual library and you have your enchanted table and all the book stuff here just in case you need to do anything with the enchanted stuff. Then over here we have the uh, security room and in the security room there's just a whole bunch of buttons and switches and then I think there's some, I guess we don't have anything in there, but some enchantment tables. Uh, these button switches don't actually do anything, but in the future, once I get a little better with redstone, I might actually try to attempt to do something with them. So that could be a possibility, then I might come back and show you guys what I did to it. So then, if we go out this way, 
but go this way instead. It leads out to a nice little nature area in the middle. And in the Black Ops 2 maps, this is kind of a choke point where most skirmishing is going to go on, where a lot of people are going to get shot. <laughs> but uh, this is where a lot of fights go on in the actual game, Call of Duty. So this is the uh, driveway like I was showing you. You can just walk through here instead. And uh, this is Soul Sand. I use Soul Sand because that's something that you never really see in Minecraft builds. So I just gave it a little special addition. Something that you would never really see. So it's kind of like, I guess you could say, a valuable rock to make you look even more rich. And here, a small little living room with the uh, see the uh, discs. So then you could uh, play the music on here and make it look like it's coming out of the TV. You come through here. This is uh, another bedroom. It's locked though because nobody has used it currently, so we haven't really done anything. And this is what I'm talking about with the weird doors. It's just messed up like that. I don't know why. You can just slide right on through. But if you come through here, we have a wraparound counter with all the cabinet spaces. We've got ourselves a crafting table and we have a chest. Over here we have our furnaces. A chest for, uh, it's called food space. And then this is supposed to be a big refrigerator and this is supposed to be against that, but that, you know, came forward. And then there's a TV just in case you need to watch like your uh, your recipes and stuff like that. So if you come over here, again, another place we really haven't used. There's a lot of spaces in this mansion. And those other two spaces, I was going to let other people decorate them, but they haven't yet. So uh, probably eventually they will. Over here we have our, I guess you could say, power room. It's not really much of a power room, but it looks like something's going on. You just got a redstone repeater. Redstone and then redstone torches. Not much, but it, you know, we just put the room there to make it look like that. And the actual Black Ops 2 map, there is a basketball court. I'm sorry to say we did not add a basketball court just because I didn't really want to build over the ocean and make it look kind of weird, so I just left it how it was. So I might plan to do something else with this space because it's kind of empty. But if you come right over here, we got a nice little pool bar, and the pool's right there. You have your cabinets and stuff, like I usually put. A hot tub. This is an early hot tub. It doesn't have the smoke coming through like I had on the other ones, like in the uh, sandstone mansion, because I made this one, like I said, early, so I really didn't know how to do that. Uh, right there, just to get an idea of where you're at, that's the living room. And then this is the little nature area, but you could just come down these stairs instead. And uh, this brings you another area over here. Instead of taking a right, you just go right down. And leads you down here. So then this is where the pool is in the hot tub like I showed you. But then over here, this isn't actually in the map, uh, we built a nice little jet ski area. So you just come right down here, step on the lily pads, and you can go right on the jet ski. Uh, the jet ski was not my idea. I looked up a YouTube video for it. I would suggest, um, oh sorry about that, one of my controllers is on. I just didn't want to turn it off because then it would do the little thing in the corner. So uh, anyway. That over there, I think I went to either Dan Lags or XX Tigus. If you search up either one of those guys, usually um, XX Tigus he makes a lot of vehicles, but Dan Lags he's more of a city builder type dude. So uh, I think yeah, there's a couple more things to show you. So if you come back this way and to this garage, this is a mysterious looking garage, and you open her up. Oh, my bad. Then you have like an amphibian vehicle, I guess you could say. And uh, you could click this switch and open this up. And you could just get right through here and then close it back up. Now, uh, something that this used to do, instead of having to click it so many times, um, you'd be able to shoot a lot faster by holding this. Oops, my bad. But after the recent update, for some reason it hasn't been working. Or these are the same ones from the... Uh, from the old update, so maybe I need to replace them. I'm not exactly sure. There's also some more in a different spot that I'll show you guys. So that's there, but we keep it a little secret, just like nobody knows that there's a big, huge tank in there. And I guess they really didn't think it out very well, but you really wouldn't be able to bring the tank anywhere in this space. Maybe make like a little section to get out right here. It could crush through the walls if it was a dire situation. <laughs> anyway, if you come back out here, that's pretty much it. One other thing I'd like to show you guys is that we built a helicopter to look like it's kind of patrolling the uh, mansion. The mansion, like I mean the helicopter, like I said, has the nice little switch thing like I showed you before, but for some reason it's not working. But it shoots a ton faster than clicking the switch several times. Uh, again, this one I learned from XX Tigus, XX, and uh, that 
is pretty much it, guys. So, uh, thanks for tuning in and watching this video. Uh, let me know in the comments if you liked it. Leave it a like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace out.